Scott here in the office. Wanted to uh, fill you in on how we got started. Um, I used to live down in central Nebraska, and I worked at Hornaday Bullet, and I made bullets for years. So yeah, that's an interesting tidbit there. Moved up here in 96, started doing guiding in 98, and started out really with five hunters, and they were whitetail hunters. I know, I know, I'm going to catch flack for that, but whitetail hunters. And <clears throat> after a couple of years, we had uh, some uh, EHD and some wasting disease and all that stuff come through. And it wiped out about 80% of them. And the next year, it wiped out even more. And that's when we actually transferred over to mule deer. And the mule deer numbers really started surging with the whitetail out of the way. So that's how we got started in the whitetails. Um, I would always run the hunts Monday through Friday, and the kids and I would hunt Saturday and Sunday. And I was fine with that. But after a couple years, five turned into nine, that turned into 12, that turned into 17. And so I had to get more ground and more ground and hire more guides and, and expand the property and, and just go with it. And so yeah, that's that's how we got started up here in the Sand Hills, and it just took off and went. And now, uh, you know, it's very obvious that the fewer whitetail you have with your mule deer, the better your mule deer herd will be, and the more of those that you'll have. Uh, the whitetails are just a lot more aggressive and run the mule deer off. So there you go. Now you have it. Now you know the rest of the story. Talk to you later.